a day in Cana Buta. If you only have one day in Cana Buta and you don't have time to hike, then visit these places and you will still have fun. We started our morning at Adria's restaurant. We heard a good review about them online, so we went ahead and visit since they served breakfast instead of going for a drive through The place is pretty cool, decent, and quiet, so we got seated immediately. It's a big restaurant for a breakfast, so I assume that they served a good dinner here and party sometimes. And here's our food, guys. So, so far the food is good, and we highly recommend it for you to come here to have a breakfast. And to be honest, they didn't have a lot of variety of menus, so I didn't expect too much about it. But we were surprised that it was good. After eating, we proceeded to their souvenir shop. We look around and maybe we'll see something that nice and we are interested into. They sell a lot of stuff here, especially Native American items. After breakfast, go to the Little Hollywood Museum. When you get inside, it's also a souvenir shop. You'll see a lot of Native American items, Western and cowboy stuffs for sale. So if you're looking for cowboy hats and boots, this is a place for you to come and visit. But this souvenir shop is just the front. This is called the Little Hollywood for a reason. Because at the back of this store, you will see an abandoned movie set. Old Western movies in Hollywood was set here in Cana Buta. These are abandoned buildings from different movie sets. So come visit here guys, especially if you love Western Hollywood style. Now if you're interested to hear more about this place, our tour here, my review, and also the history, come see my solo vlog on this video and you will see it on my YouTube channel. Or check the description of this video and you will see the link. That's so cool. Hi, sir. Excuse me. <laughs> After checking the little Hollywood, across the street is the Nature Showcase. They're not just a souvenir shop, but they are the supplier of sandstone art or furniture. The family owned this business for three generations. They have their own mine and they make everything here in this shop. If you want to see our whole tour on this shop, plus my mini interview with one of the staff about the history and about more information about this company, just go ahead and check my YouTube channel and look for this video. Or click the description of this video and see the link. And another popular place to visit here as well in Canaan is the Moki Cave. This is just close to the nature's showcase, around 15 to 20 minutes. So if you like history about caves, dinosaurs, fossils, Native Americans, also partly Hollywood and international stuff, but then you like air conditioned plus a coffee on the side, this is a place for you. This place is really cool and amazing history. If you want to see our whole tour and experience, just go ahead and check the description of this video and click the link. This museum here has been built between natural and forest sandstone cave. And these photographs here, these were taken of the entrance to the cave. You all just came in through back in 1951. In 1951, a gentleman named Garth Chamberlain bought this cave, and he bought it so he could turn it into a museum like what we have here today. Yeah. And there are three rooms here to view. Now, the first room right here, this is the bar with the original bar tables and stools made by Garth himself. In oh, that cool. room, we also have our collection of Native American artifacts that are mostly from the area and are about 1,200 years old. Mm -hmm. The second room is right over there through the TV, and that's where the dance hall used to be. Dance In this room, hall? we have our fluorescent rock collection and fossils. That's there cool. are dinosaur tracks on the other side of the entrance. Oh. And then lastly, the Pueblo right over there, that is our gift shop with one more display of artifacts and dinosaur tracks inside. Oh, okay, dinosaur tracks have been mm -hmm. sold there. Cool. Yep. Is it original? Like, or authentic? Actual dinosaur tracks? Yeah. Yes, all of the dinosaur tracks are actual dinosaur tracks. Cool. Now, you're welcome to wander around if you have I know, that's why I make it. I sell it.
That's gorgeous here. Look at the fish that you want, baby. No, all this stuff wasn't found in this cave. Remember the guy that first bought the cave? He wanted to turn it into a museum. Museum, yeah. But then he turned it into a bar because the museum wouldn't make any money. Then he turned it back. This was all the stuff he collected. Like that, so, um, the woolly mammoth tubs. Mm -hmm. That's from Alaska. This is a mastodon. You know that huge dinosaur? Yeah. Was found in Africa. So all of that is from him? Yeah, even the, even the footprints out there. They're not from this cave, it was from different places. He just, he brought all this here for his museum. That's so cool. Nowadays, people are fascinated with museum. Look at this big uh, trilobites. So huge. God. Well, that's a modern shark. That's not a... The dance hall, long time ago. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> also, you find souvenir shop inside as well. After touring inside the museum, guys, we went ahead outside and took some pictures because it's very Instagrammable. And also, we grabbed some drinks. It's very hot. Okay, delivery boy. Here. You ready? As we left and we passed downtown, we saw this big bear and a shopping area named Denny's Wigwam. It's very attractive in our eyes, so we decided to go check it out before leaving Kanab and proceed to the next city. Look at that. He looks so tired. He looks like Igor. Oh, look at this chair, baby. Made of like a horn. A gun. Made of a horn. Do not set, please. That's cool. That I know, it looks so fancy, right? No. So basically, they are like a souvenir shop here as well, but also selling fancy stuffs. To be honest, their prices here are kind of up, but it's still cool to see. They have some interesting stuffs here as well, so come visit them, guys. Also, take some photos like us. So that's our one-day experience here in Cana Buda, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.